Hi there, it's Jen, and thanks for joining me. Today I am doing a 10 cards one kit using the February Spellbinders card kit, February 2019 Spellbinders card kit. Um, this kit is called Golden Swan. It's got lots of pretty um, die cut pieces and really pretty papers. Um, the die cut that comes with this kit is a swan and some flowers and I'll go ahead and link below the Spellbinders unboxing um, but for the first card I went ahead and I tried in this video to pre-cut a lot of stuff so that I didn't have to edit it out and also so that I could um, show the cards within a reasonable amount of time and so basically I'm taking this really pretty kind of a coral piece of paper and then um, I adhered that to my white card base and then I'm taking a piece of the pattern paper. It's kind of like a scripty paper with uh, that's in gold. And then I'm taking this really pretty girl with the flowers in her hair. And I'll go ahead and adhere that to my card. And then I'm also using the floral die cut piece that has some gold accents to it. And I take the foam squares that are included in the kit and I pop that flower up. And then I'm going to use, there's this cute sheet of puffy stickers that came in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of those for the sentiment. I wasn't sure how some of this stuff in this kit coordinated together. Um, I was a little confused with some of it and I didn't quite know how to use some of it. For example, the macaroons, I had no idea what to do with those and so I did not end up using them at all. Um, I try and use um, a lot of the product, um, but I have a ton of stuff left over like I always do with the Spellbinders card kit. Um, so that completes the first card. And the second card, I'm going to go ahead and use the stamp set. This stamped up remarkably well. I'm not sure. These are not photopolymer stamps. I don't even know if they're acrylic stamps. Um, acrylic stamps usually are a little stiffer, uh, and these are fairly thin. So I'm going to go ahead and use the floral stamp. And I used my VersaFine Black Onyx ink to stamp this up. And I am coloring them with some watercolor markers that are from Genuine Crafts. And I don't know, I might do a video at some point for the markers. They're watercolor brush markers. I absolutely love them. I have some Zigs, but it's like the smallest pack because they are so expensive. Um, but I got a pack of, I think, uh, over 100. And I wanted it because I wanted a little bit more color variety. Um, and the cardstock that Spellbinders gives is a textured cardstock. It is by no means a watercolor. It did not take the water well, and I wasn't sure if it would. I didn't think it would, but the green color, I think because it's got more pigment, it spread a little bit better. But I couldn't get the flowers to spread, so I just colored uh, the whole flower without worrying about water coloring. Um, but the colors are very vibrant and very pretty. Um, and then I'm gonna take this a dimensional die cut piece and adhere that at the center of the card. And that completes that card. The sentiment is best wishes. So for the next card, I am using the white card base and I'm going to use a black mat. And then I'm using this really pretty floral paper that's got black and white stripes. And I'm going to go ahead and take my paper trimmer and cut out all, or not the, not the whole piece of pattern paper, but probably about half the piece of pattern paper. I'm going to go ahead and cut it so that I have the black and white stripes each cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay those back out on my card or my um, black panel, leaving a little bit of space in between each strip. Um, so I go ahead and do that and then I'll trim off the excess. And then I'm going to take this really pretty, pretty flower, very um, 
very prettily colored. It's very vibrant, I guess you could say. Um, and that's an, one of the dimensional flowers that came in the kit. And I went ahead and adhered that. And I'm just trying to figure out which sentiment I want to use. I, I use a lot of these sticker sentiments in um, with these cards. I don't think I used any of the stamp any of the sentiments from the stamp and actually the only stamp that I did use from this set was the floral on the card that I just did. So I chose the sentiment oh so lovely and I'll go ahead and use my double sided tape that of course comes in the kit and I will adhere that to my white card base and that will complete that card. I also didn't use a lot of items from my stash for this set. I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like I need a lot and sometimes I feel like I don't. Like I don't, I didn't use any drops or stickles or anything like that. Um, I think the cards by themselves, the patterns and the, um, and the die cuts just were enough for me. <laughs> this card, I am taking the pattern paper and I just took a die from my stash and cut that, uh, paper out in a circle and I'm going to take these cute little penguins holding the balloon and originally I was just going to use one of the penguin um, die cuts and then I ended up using two of them so this one I pop up using the foam squares and then I use some of the uh, little puffy sticker um, presents and then I gave this little penguin a little puffy sticker bow and so I went ahead and I adhered the presents and then I decided I was going to go ahead and use the other die cut the other penguin die cut so I had to pull those up which luckily didn't rip my paper but for the second die cut I just go ahead and use my double sided tape to adhere that flat to the card and kind of place it a little bit behind the other penguins they're so cute aren't they <laughs> and then I'm just kind of moving things around on the card and then for this card I use another one of the sticker sentiments that says hooray. I was going to use this puppy sticker one and then I decided that I didn't want to so I went ahead and pulled out that sticker sheet. So the sentiment I ended up using was the one that said hooray. I thought that was fitting for the little penguins. So really um, quick and easy cards. I say that in every video, but it's true. It is very nice to do some cards that are just, you know, they're fun to do and enjoyable and um, just really simple to make. So for the next card, I am using the Swan die cut and I took the gold paper and I went ahead and I cut some strips and I, I'm not really I don't know if I had a plan for this card or not. Usually I have sketches so that when I'm making the video I kind of you know have an idea of where I want to go with it. It doesn't always turn out the same way as my paper sketch. Um, in this case I don't think I had an idea. I think I was just I don't I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think I meant wanted to make some water that was gold or something like that. And then I ended up making this pattern and it looked like a brick wall to me and I was going to have the dove sitting on the brick wall and then it's crooked and so I just took the dove. Why am I calling it a dove? <laughs> it's a swan. It's a swan, Jen. A lot of times and I don't even notice until I've like uploaded the video that I've said stuff that doesn't make any sense or I've named a product. Um, that is not actually what it is and I remember when I first started watching YouTube I would I would people would do that and I'd be like no it's not what it is how can you not know that and now I think it's just when you're like doing a voiceover when you're talking you don't realize what you're saying sometimes <laughs> so I think that's what happened anyhow I put the gold strips on crooked and so to fix that I went ahead and I 
adhered the swan over them so you can't tell. Um, I am using another of these sticker sentiments. This was one long sentiment in on the sticker sheet and I just went ahead and cut the words apart so that I could lay them out <clears throat> separately on the card and so it says bold, brave, and beautiful. And then these gold sequins came in the kit and I'm just uh, adhering those, several of those to the card. And that'll do it for that card. And if you have any feedback on my sound, on the, the, the sound quality for the videos, um, I changed recently the my editing program and I got a different um, phone and I'm having some trouble getting the sound to be the level to be where I need it to be. So if you have any feedback on that, just please let me know. Um, for this next card, I am using the dies that came in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this pink paper. And then I'm also using the pattern paper that's got the gold dots on it. I'm going to make a wreath. And so I just grabbed a die from my stash. It ended up being too big. So I just w went with the next size down just as a template so that I could make my wreath a almost perfect circle. And so um, this size worked perfectly for this card. And um, so I'm just gonna take a little piece of sticky note or something and adhere that down so it doesn't move around. And then I'm gonna take the little white flowers. So the die has a flower piece, the center of the flower, and then it has these little leaves. And so I cut out many of those, or die cut many, many of those, and, um, and I'm, that's what I'm adhering as the wreath. Um, so my glue bottle kind of exploded, and so I just went ahead and put it on a plastic sheet, and I'm just taking a toothpick. A lot of times, even the little um, bottles that you can put glue in that are really easy for small details get clogged, and so a lot of times I'll just use a toothpick um, it's a lot easier, so that's what I've done here. So I'm just taking a toothpick, <clears throat> dipping it in the glue, and then um, dotting the glue dots around my template, my dye template, and then I am taking those pieces, and I'm going, I'm doing it uh, a flower leaf, flower leaf pattern, and I went ahead and sped this up a lot just because I just, I wanted to keep it in there so you could see it, but <clears throat> it would have t taken a while to get through the whole thing and it would be quite boring. So I went ahead and sped the video up, but the, the using the die as the template worked wonderfully for me. There's no way I would have gotten that straight. So, so for the center of the flowers, I am using a Spectrum Noir marker and I'm just coloring. That's part of the um, die cut is the little circles for the center of the flowers. And so I have just adhered every on every other flower. I know it's kind of hard to tell. At least it's hard for me to tell because when I'm doing my video editing, the screen is a lot smaller. And so I can't see a lot of detail, which is sometimes when I sit here and say, oh, I think that's what the sentiment says and it doesn't actually say that. It's because I can't see it. And you're probably like, well, it just says it. It's clear to see. It's clear as day, but um, that's why. But at any rate, um, the in the dies, there is one die that has the nose portion of the swan and the like the mask and the eye. And so I went ahead and I cut the nose out using a piece of the pink cardstock and then the eye and the mask, I'm using a piece of the black cardstock. So I'm just adhering that. And then I have used, I've cut two of the swans out. So on the second one that I'm not putting the, the face on, um, I went ahead and added foam squares to that so that it would be dimensional. And here I am just adding the wing. I think that's what it's called, right? On a swan, a wing, a feather, I don't know. Um, and so I'm just kind of fluffing that up a little bit and then adhering those two pieces together. And then the crown, I used the gold cardstock. And so I'll go ahead and adhere that. Ooh, 
sorry. I'm tired. And then I'll go ahead and take my glue. I'm trying to get this glue used up so I don't waste it. So I'm trying to use it for whatever I can. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that in the middle of the wreath. And then I'm using for the sentiment these puffy stickers that say be beautiful. And then I also use the puffy sticker that says it's your day. I think it says it's your day. Or today is the day. Or today is your day. What does it say? It says today is the day. Be beautiful. So that's the entire sentiment. Um, this is my favorite card out of the bunch. It took a little bit more time to do, but I just think it's really pretty. So this is a super quick card. I took the green cardstock that came in the kit and several of the die cuts. So this first one is the candles. And I'm just taking my double-sided adhesive and we'll adhere that flat to the card. And the sentiment die cut says happy everything. And um, I'll go ahead and take my foam squares or whatever foam pieces I have, usually towards the end of the video or towards the end of, you know, when I'm almost done making 10 cards, I usually don't have any foam squares, so I just use all the leftover pieces. And then I'm using this balloon that says, let's party. And here I am trying to use up some more of that glue, just running it through. And then I also take a piece of the pattern paper that's the gold and white pattern paper and I add that to the bottom of the card. Just using my double sided adhesive. And actually after I finished this card I did go ahead and add that little puffy present at the corner. And then I tried to take it off and it ripped so I had to leave it. Because I didn't really like it there but I had to leave it because I had ripped the paper. This is one of my favorite cards also, actually. I just think the really subtle, kind of elegant, pretty cards. Um, so this one I'm using a pink card base or card panel. And then I'm using the gold, kind of like newspaper print, I guess you could say that is, pattern paper. And then I'm also using a piece of the um, gold circle pattern paper. And I'm just going to layer the, the that on top of the other piece. And of course I got it crooked. Because I can't cut straight. I can't put stuff on things straight. Which is why like a lot of times I'll watch videos and you know I see people trimming off their excess you know excess stuff off of a card using scissors. And I'm like nope I can't do that. Because... <laughs> I'm almost guaranteed that it will not be straight. So I use my paper cutter almost every time, unless it's like super tiny. So I went ahead and popped that flower up and the sentiment that I'm using is one of the puffy sentiments and it says thank you. It's a really quick, simple card. So here's another quick one I'm using. I love this paper. The colors in this kit are um, really super pretty. Um, so I'm using the kind of like a teal or ocean colored paper. And I am using another of the balloons that say, let's party. And I had such a hard time trying to figure out what to do with these puffy stickers. So I tried to make a little animal train, I guess. And so the leader of the animal train is this little turtle I think it is with his party hat so he's holding the balloon and then I've got the swan and then the little mouse <laughs> so I'm not sure sometimes it's especially since Spellbinder changed over to like adding the stamps and like getting rid of the ribbon and stuff like that and adding a bunch of cool awesome things um, some of them I just I don't I don't get I'm like, I don't understand what macaroons has to do with 
And so I wasn't sure how to use these little tiny puffy stickers, but this sentiment, for this one I again use the uh, sticker sentiment and it says happy birthday. And then for my last card, I went ahead and cut out two, uh, actually I cut out four squares and then four kind of like rounded squares and I'm going to layer those. So I just took some dies in my stash um, to cut these out. And then I'm gonna take these little balloons, these little tiny puffy sticker balloons, and adhere those one on each of the smallest squares. And I will take a foam square, actually, and adhere those onto the bigger square pieces. And then I'll go ahead and adhere my blue paper to my card base. And then I get out my tea ruler just to try and get these uh, even. Um, and then after I finished, I didn't like the spacing between in the middle. I thought they should be closer together. And then I was like, oh well. Oh well, sometimes you just have to say, oh well. <laughs> I think it's a cute little card anyhow. And I, again, I use another of the um, stickers for a sentiment. And um, that pretty much finishes off of this card after I put the sentiment that says, Believe in Magic. Um, I had a lot of fun with this kit. And as always, I have a ton of stuff left over. A lot of paper, a lot of stickers. Um, you know, a lot of die cuts, and I'm never quite sure what to do with all that after I'm done. I keep all the stamps and the dies usually, but the other stuff I'm just not, I'm not real sure what to do with it. So most of the time I end up giving it away. So these are the 10 cards that I created. I hope you enjoyed, um, and this maybe gave you some ideas if you haven't got the kit or you're thinking about getting the kit. Spellbinders is something I've been subscribed to for over a year, and it's the only kit I subscribe to. I absolutely love it. Um, so I hope you love it too. If you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, thanks so much for joining me, and I will catch you next time.